Local organizations, businesses, and schools are saying thank you. Thank you to their volunteers. It's Volunteer Appreciation Week, and we asked two people from our CBS2 and Fox 28 family, that's Kelly O'Connell and Kelsey Miner, to introduce you to those they volunteer with at a very busy Cedar Rapids hospital. <laughs> Nearly every baby born at St. Luke's Hospital gets to meet Miss Carini. Oh, she's awake. They're all beautiful. They're all wonderful. They're all special. They're all individuals. Hello. And uh, these babies don't talk back. She's got a sense of humor and a love for babies. Hello, I'm bringing one child back. This former nurse has been volunteering here for 30 years. From the coffee shop to the gift shop, she's done it all. And she has these to prove it. Each button represents 500 hours of volunteering. Lots and lots of stories. She's logged more than 7,000 hours. So 30 years, how many more years do you think you'll be here? As long as my feet and legs will hold up. <laughs> and I hope a long time, but who knows? You know, I'm not real young. I'm a grandmother. Co-college student Alex Hazelmeyer has been volunteering here for four years. We all have our own reasons for staying. For Alex, this is more than just a volunteer opportunity. She's made lifelong friends. I've made a second family like here at St. Luke's outside of like the college connections that I normally have. But you might think this college student's volunteer work is all about building a good resume. For me, it's not so much like what has gone on the resume, but it's like all of the extra impact from that experience. Volunteers play a huge role in St. Luke's success. Each one of these puzzle pieces represents a volunteer, nearly a thousand strong, with over 100,000 hours donated. Look at this one. Wanda Wilson donated over 18,000 hours. From the cafeteria decorations to the plaques on the walls, St. Luke's takes pride in its volunteers. Do you recognize that smile? Some volunteers may look okay. familiar. You'll find Kelsey Miner on the fourth floor, bringing some laughs to patients. What did you drop on your foot? And if you ever find yourself in the emergency department, Kelly O'Connell may be there to help out. Every volunteer has their own duty, their own hours, and their own reason for being here. But they all help piece together the puzzle of St. Luke's. Whatever, you know, trips your trigger, I guess if you want to say that. If you like to be around adults, if you like to work in the flower stall, which I loved, if you like to work in the gift shop, um, if you'd like to fold linen, or you know, just many, many things that give back to the community. A community they love almost as much as cute babies. In Cedar Rapids, Kelly O'Connell and Kelsey Miner covering the corridor. St. Luke's is always looking for more volunteers. If you would like to learn more, head to KGAN.com and click on the links section. Coming up in sports, the first...